Kentucky is one of only four states that requires the governor to personally restore voting rights to people convicted of felonies. So a bill aimed at changing that has failed numerous times in the past. But as WHS 11's political editor Joe Arnold reports from Frankfurt, with support from U.S. Senator Rand Paul in Frankfurt today, the bill is now on the move. If you would, Commissioner Comer. It wasn't just the first time a Kentucky Senate committee approved a bill aimed at restoring felons voting rights. Until U.S. Senator Rand Paul got involved, the Senate had never even heard such a bill in committee. When you look at those who are being deprived of voting, I think they are disproportionately people of color. The Tea Party Republican is shepherding an effort other Republicans have stalled in the past as he also tries to expand the reach and appeal of the Republican Party. He has the eye and the ear of the African American community and some Latino community, so I think it's expanded a great deal. Well, he's not only helping himself, he's helping his political career and his bid for the president. Under current Kentucky law, felons can petition the governor to reacquire the right to vote. Tana Fogel had to include character references and write an essay. I think that infringes another barrier for a person to become a citizen. House Bill 70 would automatically restore the voting right once felons in Kentucky completely serve their sentences. But that is not what the Republican-led Senate committee approved today. Their substitute includes conditions, including a five-year waiting period. And to prove to the criminal justice system uh, that they can be good citizens uh, and not commit another crime. The committee substitute is not, is not House Bill 70 in any form or fashion. The bill's House sponsor and other supporters argue the Senate's version deprives ex-cons of full citizenship. But they have a right to be a part of that governance. If they violate it again, they're going back. If they go back, they're going to lose their rights again. It's an incentive for them to stay out to keep it. Why would you extend it? Makes no sense. Yet Paul says he's learned about compromise, and supporters should not lose sight of what they did achieve today. So I would think five years is a lot less than infinity, so it would be progress in the right direction. The bill now goes to the full Senate, where it could be changed yet again. One supporter is saying at least it's a bird in hand, though he also added it could be an ugly duckling. At the state capitol, Joe Arnold, WHAS 11 News. If approved by the General Assembly and Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir, the Voting Rights Restoration Amendment would also need the approval of Kentucky voters this fall.